Now back in for another story. Again, thank you for watching. If you decide to click here and if you would like to, please subscribe. That would really help me out. So the reason why I wanted to make a quick video today was because I had been hearing this story for a while and the weird part is is that I'm, I've been in all these counties of where this is all happening except for Mexico. So there was a couple of months ago well, I, so I traveled back and forth from San Diego to L.A. to Riverside. So, like, I'm kind of all over the place. But specifically Downey, I, I, I lived there um, not, too, not too long ago. And then recently I have been going towards um, uh, where it is, like, National City in Chula Vista. And so that is very close to Tijuana. And I remember hearing about the story of a... Ted Bundy like serial killer that was uh, that's what the Mexican officials were calling him so they said that what, what, what was happening was it was uh, he was picking up um, you know the people the girls that work at the nights in the strip clubs and things like that over there so apparently they knew and this has been for probably about mm, I would say five or six months I've been hearing about it but I hadn't heard any conclusion we don't have a real conclusion here, but what we do have is a suspect, and his name is, um, it says they believe he's innocent, but um, Bryant Rivera of Downey could be the serial killer that um, supposedly, as of right now, there are three victims that were um, assaulted and um, murdered in a Bundy style way. Um, there's no proof. Um, the Mexican officials are trying to extradite him back because they believe that it is him. Um, the people, his family here in Downey, when I say here, I mean here in the United States, um, he, they say, of course they think he's innocent. That's always the case, but, um, Obviously, they want to extradite him for a reason. So I found this to be pretty interesting that in our, you know, our time, I know that there are still active serial killers out there. Um, I just and, and I do remember hearing that they were saying that they thought that it was an American that was traveling down there. And apparently that the man was good looking. I mean, I don't know from from the photos that I see. I don't see that but maybe some people did i really didn't think ted bundy was good looking either but i mean he probably i mean i'm not who am i to say anything about that but i just thought it was interesting that they are trying to compare it to ted bundy in this day and age of 2023 and this has been pending so it is pending um to extradite um the the perpetrator back to uh, Mexico, so so extradited from the United States to Mexico to face charges of these assaults and possible murders of these three women that were the women of the night, um, the, the uh, strip places. So in any event, I just, uh, I'll keep you updated. I just thought this was really an interesting story and I wanted to talk about it before, but I had just kind of put it on the back burner there had been no resolution, just a suspicion at that time. So I hope that uh, you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon in the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.